Don't bug me. I'm activating my Merkaba. That's it. Hello, everyone. The Merkaba was thought to be a divine light vehicle which transported people from one dimension to the next. You can think of it as a spiritual spaceship of sorts. The Merkaba is counter-rotating fields of light in the shape of two interlocked tetrahedra, where one point of the tetrahedra points up and the other points down, forming the shape of a star tetrahedron. This is why it is referred to as the Chariot of Ascension. When viewed, it looks like a three-dimensional Star of David. Why? Because the Star of David came about because people were observing the Merkaba. This is why the Star of David, among other things, represents the idea of the soul transcending the temporal world. Even though the Merkaba has been witnessed by mankind since spiritual curiosity arose, the Merkaba made its major debut in human consciousness before Jesus was born amongst those who practiced early Jewish mysticism. It showed up in their visions. They began calling it Merkaba, which means to ride or thing to ride in, depending on its usage. They believed the Merkaba to be a spiritual chariot of sorts. Amongst religious scholars at that time, it was hailed as a chariot of the gods. The Merkaba became a secret doctrine, only known to few. A few scholars and philosophers and rabbis preserved the information about the Merkaba, while many others forbid the study of it. Because of this, over the years, we've become somewhat confused. All over the world, there are people that have their own ideas about what the Merkaba is, and not many of them agree. This is why my inbox has been flooded with emails asking me to put my spin on the Merkaba. It has long been thought that the Merkaba sits inside the base of someone's base chakra, and that when someone activates their Merkaba, it expands to encompass their body and that that Merkaba can be activated through spinning techniques or breathwork techniques or focus exercises, which is why you saw Blake spinning in circles earlier on before this video. The average human consciousness does not understand that consciousness can exit and enter this dimension at will, because it understands things in terms of movement, and movement in terms of travel. And when the human brain thinks of movement and travel, it thinks of a vehicle. It can't conceive of movement taking place outside the reality construct of a vehicle. And so the Merkaba has been seen as a vehicle for thousands of years. The Merkaba is a geometric pattern that moves either like a torus or like counter-rotating light fields. The energy field of a person, which is always present, takes on this pattern, which indicates that a person's consciousness is no longer purely focused physically and is now able to travel or is traveling through other dimensional realities. Take this one step further. When the Merkaba is activated to its full potential, it indicates that a person is able to take their body through stargates in other dimensional realities instead of simply taking their consciousness to other dimensional realities whilst leaving their body behind. The fully activated Merkaba indicates that a person is able to transform the entire body into light. It is a form of light travel. In other words, in the final stages of Merkaba activation, through a shift in consciousness, the mind, spirit, and body completely integrate into one pattern of light and is then able to transcend the limitation of the physical time-space reality. Herein lies the problem. Humans think that the Merkaba is a prerequisite for ascension. In reality, it is a physical symptom. In other words, it is a result of ascension. Physical human consciousness has a difficult time understanding ascension. But ascension is really only a shift in perspectives. It's shifting to a perspective which takes in a more objective view of the reality we live in and of the universe itself. There are thousands of techniques to enable a person to shift their perspective. All of these techniques help a person get closer to ascension. It is thought which prohibits someone from exiting the physical dimension. It is thought which enables a person to exit the physical dimension. He who manipulates thought manipulates the matrix of this universe. Thought is an interdimensional vehicle. This is why the most beneficial teachers of ascension are focused on one primary thing, and that is to help you alter your perspective. That is to help you work with thought as if it is the clay that is molding your reality. They help a person to develop an open and a flexible mind. 
You cannot activate the Merkaba so that the Merkaba itself assists you to reach other dimensions or to ascend. Instead, the Merkaba activates on its own as a result of shifting consciousness. The Merkaba is a symptom of increasing the vibration of consciousness, not a cause of increasing consciousness. The Merkaba becomes alive, and the Merkaba becoming alive means the energy field of a person reflects the fact that they have developed a pattern of consciousness which enables their perspective to be unrestricted by the limits of vibrational density of the physical dimension. The triangle is a pattern we see that emerges as a result of directed consciousness, which is experienced as movement. It is also a pattern that emerges as a result of the desire to merge the physical reality, mind, and spirit. These are the two primary reasons that the Merkaba takes on the interlocking triangular structure that it does. You do not have to go anywhere to travel interdimensionally, because going somewhere implies physical movement, and physical movement only belongs to the physical dimension. Outside of the physical dimension, travel is not necessarily movement or proximity. When it comes to interdimensional travel, the process depends on two primary principles, attention and intention. It's a three-step process. First, you set your intention. Then, you focus your attention on anything that is related to your intention. Then, you merge the two by focusing your intention on whatever desire you've come up with. In summation, the Merkaba is a pattern and structure that the human light body takes on when one is ready for or is engaged in interdimensional travel. It just so happens that this particular pattern, which we call the Merkaba, begins once it's activated near the root chakra. It then continues outwards like a torus shape around the body, and that torus shape then begins to form the shape of a star tetrahedron the very shape that we call the Merkaba. Have a good week. Stop it, no. Deactivate. Deactivate. No, it's not working. <laughs>